Hey, what's up guys? It's Matt King here with Funnel.Works and apparently Stripe decided to change up how they do business and how their user interface works, which is messing up how all my old videos work. So here I am. I'm going to make you guys a new video on how to create a to-pay option or a subscription-based product inside of ClickFunnels while using Stripe. So uh, without further ado, let's jump in and take a look at this. I'm in my account now, and uh, I found a test funnel that we're going to use down here. It's called Conversion Mastery Training, and I'm going to go to the order page. What we're going to do is create a product. There's actually a couple products already built into this, um, but what we're going to do is just add a third product, and it is going to be subscription-based. So there's a $7 version, a $27 version, and what we're going to do is is add a uh, two-pay or a subscription-based product. They're, they both work the same way, I'll show you. So what we're gonna do is just add a new product, and for this one, we'll call this one uh, Conversion Mastery Elite. And we'll just, just so we know what we're looking at here, we'll call that two-pay. We're gonna use Stripe, select Stripe in your dropdown. We'll make the, we're gonna end up making this two payments of $97, okay? So just type in 97. Stripe in uh, $97 with a dollar sign and to pay. And um, I always forget about this. Whenever you come down here and type in subscribe or click on subscription, it actually takes the amount and the currency out. So it's whatever you have set in your Stripe account. Um, and what's going to happen, we're going to come down here to the product description, test product. We're going to come to the Stripe plan. And what it's going to do is it's going to go over to Stripe and it's going to pull on Stripe to see if you've actually put that product in there. So what we're going to do, let's take a quick look at this. Um, oh, look at that. It's not even in there. So a lot of people will see nothing because they haven't added anything, but I've got a bunch of stuff in there. It's none of these products, okay? So we're going to go over to Stripe now, and we're going to take a look at this and see what happens. I'm actually going to come back to this because this won't even work for me now, now that it's not there. So let's go to product um, over here going to go to uh, billing so once you're logged in go to billing and then come down here to products on the left hand column there you'll see we have a whole bunch of stuff in here some of its actual stuff some of its just testing purposes uh, but what we're going to do come up here to the top right what we're going to do is create a pro basically we're creating a product and then what we're going to do after we've created the product in the live environment is we're going to create uh, pricing plans. We're only going to create one pricing plan, but if you want more than one pricing plan for the same product, you add that here. So uh, what I'm going to do is call this uh, testing, what do I call that one? Test product to pay. Don't worry about this unit label seat. Um, down here is the statement descriptor. It is optional. Um, we're going to call this test. Um, just because it's test, right? That's going to show up on the credit card statement for your customers, okay? So uh, click on create product after that, and now it's going to basically prompt you for a pricing plan, all right? So we're going we're gonna to call it, I don't know why it's putting my name in there. We're going to call this to pay product, what do we, what did we call this one? Um, conversion Mastery Elite to pay right? So we're going to put that in there as the description for that pricing plan. So we remember that, put something in here that's pretty obvious as to what that payment plan was. Now what we're going to do, and this is really important. If you're not listening right now, listen back up, come back with me. This ID right here, this is probably the most important part of this entire video. All right. So you need an ID. It says it's optional. It's not. All right. Put an ID in there and make sure that it's unique. All right, so we're going to put something in here that's very unique that I won't remember ever, and then I'm going to copy it. It's like a skew. All right, well, we're going to copy that because we're going to use that later. And once you've put this in here, you can't go back and get to it. So if you forgot what you put in here as an ID, you'll have to recreate this entire thing and then come back, recreate a new ID, and then copy it again because you forgot what it was. Okay, so remember what the ID is. Um, just so I remember, I'm going to copy that again and again. All right, from there, uh, this is going to be a recurring quantity. I have never used the metered usage. I'm not sure how that works yet, so we'll cover that in another video if we need to. Uh, we are going to cover this down on recurring quantity. Currency, USD, all right, I'm in America. If you're somewhere else, put, pick something else. Does this pricing plan have multiple price tiers? No, I'm not even going to mess with price tiers on this. The price per unit, $97 per unit. Okay. The billing interval. We're going to bill monthly. If you want to bill 
daily or weekly or every three months, quarterly, yearly, however you want to do it, works the same way. So we're going to go monthly, two payments of $97, all right? And then a trial period, we're not going to add that in. If you want to put a trial on this, like seven-day trial, then it charges you out at 97 That's up to you. Um, I, I actually think that this will be overridden on the ClickFunnels side, so it may not even matter if you put something in here or not. Oh, that being said, once you've done this, it's all done. Come over here, click Add Pricing Plan, all right? So we now have done that. Uh, we now have a pricing plan. You can see it right here, and then you can add another pricing plan if, you're not, uh, if you want. We're not going to do that right now. This is what's going to show up in the ClickFunnels side. So let's go back and add that product in. I'm going to go fast on this one um, just because I've already done it. So we're going to go Conversion Mastery Elite. To pay right stripe amount we're not going to bother with that stuff we're going to change this out to say 97 month to pay and we're going to come down here and call it a subscription because it changes that information out we set this on the stripe side down here product description testing all right stripe plan this is what uh what's going to come up guess what's going to come up crap it didn't come up so what am i going to do where is it actually it didn't come up figures Let's add a product again. Let's hit the refresh button. If it doesn't come up, that means it has not populated or propagated. We're going to hit the refresh button. You're going to hit add product again. And then what I'm going to do is come down here and make sure that the product came up. Stripe plan. Conversion mastery. Where the hell is it? Am I in test mode or something? Well, I might be in test mode. This might be one of those learning points for all of us. Let's go up here to settings. All right. Come up here to settings. Um, and then we're going to come down here. Look at that. We're in test mode. That's something you need to look at. We're creating this funnel or this test or we're creating this product in test mode. So we're going to turn that off. We're going to come back here and check this out. Make sure you come back here to save and update settings. All right. Otherwise it won't work. Uh, where were we? Opt-in sales page order form. We're on the order form page. Back to products. Hopefully you guys are catching up. I'm trying to keep this uh, short and sweet and it's not working. So we're going to go to add product. Uh, what do we call it? Conversion Mastery Elite to pay because that's how we like it. We're going to come down here at Stripe. We're not going to put the amount or the currency in there because that's on Stripe. 97 month to pay. We're going to click on subscription again. Come down here to the product description test product. All right. The big moment of truth, Stripe plan. Guess what showed up on the top? All right, so what's coming up here is the test product to pay. This is what you want to select, okay? This is what we just created. So let's go back to, uh, and, and the payment plan while I'm here. Number of payment plan payments, hit two, all right? If you are doing a subscription base that never ends, you will hit uh, 999, all right? If it's a three payments of 97, guess what you're going to type? Three if it's ongoing into perpetuity and they will not stop getting payments unless they email you or call you and say, hey, dude, can you stop these charges? And I'll be like, yeah, you know what? It was good having you as a member. Uh, we'll stop your payments. Then you come into Stripe and cancel those out. Now, so for this, it's not 999. That's into perpetuity. It's two payments. That's it. If you have that trial, remember I said it probably gets uh, overridden. If you do have a trial, put it here. If not, leave it blank or put a zero, okay? Um, after that, we're going to say create product, but before I do that, let's come over here to product. Remember, the product is what comes up on ClickFunnels. Apparently, it's not the pricing plan, all right? I'm trying to figure this out here for you. All right, It's the name of the actual product and not the pricing plan that's going to show up. So um, remember that ID that we came up with a minute ago. Guys, if you want to test this out, Here's how you're going to do that on the ClickFunnels side. First, I'm going to create this product so it's in here. Now, it says two payments of $97. Let me show you something in interesting here. We're going to go to settings. We're going to go to uh, Stripe test mode. We're going to turn that on, hopefully, on. And we're going to come over here, save and update settings. That way it saves. We're going to go back to that order form, back to the products tab. Now, Check this out. It says, plan does not exist. That's because we're in test mode. Remember a minute ago when I was like, why isn't this? I didn't realize I left it in test mode. So make sure you take it out of test mode. But when you do go into test mode, because you want to test a funnel that's this long, uh, and make sure that this works before going live, you got to add this 
product to the test mode data. See where it says view test data. You're going to come over here and click on uh, that. Everything's going to come orange. You're going to see test data. We're going to come over here to products. Guess what we're going to do? We're going to name this product. Uh, we're going to go through that same product. Click on new. We're going to call it a new product. So this is to pay testing product. All right. Who cares about the seat and the statement des descriptor is test. Click on create product. Now it's going to you're going to have to create that pricing plan. All right. So the, the, the name of it was conversion mastery to pay. You can call it test if you want. Now, you remember that ID? I said this was the most important part. We're coming back around to that. You can't go back and get this and go oh, and do this after the fact because you'll forget what it is, especially if you're making them like highly encrypted like I do. So what we're going to do is go command V and copy that old one right back in there. Okay, it says it's optional. It's not. If you're using ClickFunnels and Stripe, this is not an option. Put that in there. Um, that's how it'll see this, okay? Um, again, uh, pricing is recurring. USD, uh, don't worry about the tiers. We're going to go to 97, I would imagine. If you want to test this, the way that it would work, make sure that you're using the exact same thing you used before, monthly interval, uh, and that's it. So we've just created an exact clone only in test data. Add that pricing plan, okay? So here we are. Uh, we've now added all this. You really don't need to do anything else. You have completed what you need to do. This is now on uh, live and in test data. So what we're going to do now is come back over here to click funnels. And I'm just going to hit refresh. Keep in mind this says plan does not exist. Let's hit refresh. And look what it says now. Two payments in 97. I did not even have to go in and select it. It knew that it was there because I was using the same ID. Okay, so that's how this works. At this point, um, your system is actually set up. Make sure you go in and set up all the uh, all the additional tabs. We're not going to cover that here, um, but everything is set up. Uh, just keep in mind, if you're in test mode and you're not seeing that, you're like, oh, I added the product, but it's not showing up. But nothing's working. It's because of this. This is why I've done this many times. I've covered down on a lot of uh, issues like this, and this is the issue every single time, okay? So make sure that you're adding that to live and to test data. Add that twice, and it will work here. This is how Stripe changed everything. And now uh, I get to make this video for you guys, and you get to see how the changes are made. Let me know if you guys have questions. Leave them down in the comments uh, or, you know, whatever, and get a hold of us. Uh, Guys, if you like this, we put up videos like this all the time, so subscribe, hit the notification bell, uh, leave a comment, like or uh, dislike this if you don't like it. If it's not working, give me a thumbs down or something. I'll know to go look at it uh, because we're awesome and we always get thumbs up, right? So that's all I got. Take it easy, and I will see you guys in the next video.